guys, Miss Richo here. So today what we're going to do is just do a basic um, photo frame um, using Tinkercad, okay, which is the 3D online software. So what we need to do first is I'm just going to show you how to um, access Tinkercad first. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to log out um, of Tinkercad. So first get on to Tinkercad.com. Okay, so now what we're we're on uh, now we're on uh, Tinkercad. What you do is just press sign in here and use your Google email. So your email from school on uh, will come up with your Google Apps email. All right, once you're on and it's loaded, we're going to create a new design. So we just go straight to creating a new design like so. As you can see, I've got a couple there already. Um, and what we're doing is just making a basic um, photo frame for those of you who are just starting out. Um, and what I'm going to do is go through um, how to create holes, um, where your slot should be, where your window should be, etc. on a basic photo frame. So first of all, uh, first thing you want to do is name it. So click on here and put in your name and your grade. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in 708, which is my, my grade. Um, what I want to do is first start off with a box. I'm making a basic photo frame um, box size and I'm going to make it around about 1200 millimeters, uh, 120 mil I should say, um, in width. And I'm going to look at my height being around about say um, 80 mil. So if I click on here, 80 mil. Now, obviously, you can change this by just moving it up and down like that to the size you want. Um, but I'm pretty happy with around about. I like to be more accurate and put in the measurements there like that. OK, so the first thing we want to have on the front is a window so that our photo slots into a window. So what we do is we grab another box over from the um, over in the in the shape section. Um, because I did 120, my window is going to be um, around about 100 in width. So again, click on the shape in the corner, um, make it around about 100. Um, you'll see why I've chosen this shape. I'm just going to use the arrow keys like so, just to move it into this area. Um, then what I do is I'm just going to move it up and get to the, the size of my window of how high I want to have. Now, obviously with this shape being about 80, um, I want to leave enough space to put a name on the bottom of my photo frame. So if I said maybe around about 60 mil, um, should be a good size, giving me enough of a border. Actually, I might go with 55. Okay, giving me enough of a border and um, for me to put in extra stuff. now. If I right click with my mouse, I can move my, uh, rotate my work plane around. Um, and if you use the arrow keys, I can then get some sort of um, idea of where my window is going to sit. At the moment, the standard width um, will put it a big massive hole in my photo frame. And obviously I don't want that. Um, what I do want is just to have the window at the front of the frame. And you'll see very, if you're a little bit confused at this stage, um, you'll see when, when I actually start to make it. So I am going to make my uh, window frame. Uh, the width um, is going to be about, I'm going to go with about 10 mil, which is one centimeter. Um, that's a good width for me for my window. I, and I'm just going to, I might actually, yeah, that's, a, that's about right. Okay, so at the moment it's looking pretty good. Um, now what I do is I use the cone up here and that'll lift it up onto around about that height. That's the height I'm gonna be looking at putting it in because I wanna put my name down the bottom uh, to make it more personalized. And again, I'm gonna use my arrow key. So my left arrow key, I've just rotated it a bit by right clicking on my mouse. And then I'm going to drop it into my photo frame like that. So that's the size of my window. Um, now, at this stage, when you're looking at it, you can go, oh, that's a bit narrow, that side. So obviously, I'm going to move it because I want it to look nice and even around the edges. So you don't want to have your frame a bit lopsided on one side. So if I move it to there, I can sort of see that looks around about um, even 
on each side like so. Maybe I'll just lift that window up a little bit more to about there. All right, so that's that's um, pretty good size for my window. I'm just going to keep the 60 so in height. Okay. So I am going to, yeah, that's a good height. I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can adjust it to whatever you like. It's fine. Um, now my depth again, I'm just looking at the window. I really, you know, it's 10 there. Um, so, you know, I don't need to have my window all the way down the back. I just want the front at this stage. I'm quite happy to leave that there. So, and you'll see why in a minute. So the first thing we want to do is group it. Um, and that makes those two shapes one shape. Um, meaning that it'll give a hole, it'll put a window hole in the um, photo frame. So by clicking and dragging over the two shapes, I'm selecting it, the two shapes together, and then I just go up to here, hover on it and it says group, and I click on group. Okay, so now at the moment, um, I've got my, my window for my photo frame already set up. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I need the photo to actually drop in there, okay? So I need a slot for the photo to go into it. So what I do is you can use the whole box um, again. And this time, because um, my frame, I had it about 100 width, um, I want the, the slot to be a little bit wider than the 100. So I'm gonna go about 110 because it's got a slot in you don't want it to be 120, obviously, because then it'll be, you know, you'll have holes on the sides as well. Um, but what I want is I want it to slot in just behind the window. So the photo is, you know, slotted in behind the window. So if I right click again, what I'm gonna do is also, I wanna lift the height, because we're gonna slide it, slot, slot it off the, slot it in the top there. You could go in the side if you wanted to. Um, then what I'm going to do is make it not as deep. Um, I want to make, sorry, the depth of maybe about, for a photo, I'd be looking at maybe three or four mil. I'm going to go with four mil today. Um, and that's literally, then what we want to do is make sure, so I'm right clicking and rotating it. You want it to, the photo to go in, but you want it to stop. Okay, so I'm just going to arrow over a little bit so that it's nice and even. Um, and I'm going to drop that just top down a little bit because I, what I want to do is I want to lift that shape up to around about here. So if you, when I go to right click and turn, I'm just going to use my arrow key to sort of start to bring it towards the, the frame. I can right click and rotate. Okay, so you can see here, it's gonna slot in behind the window, but stay inside the frame. Because obviously if you have it too wide, it's gonna have holes on either side. And we certainly don't want those holes on either side. Now that's pretty even there, as you can see, as I'm starting to push it towards the shape, you're getting that evenness on both sides. And that's what you want. You want your photo to drop in behind the window. Um, I'm not happy with the bottom part. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to move the bottom part maybe a little bit. So if I just move that up a little bit and then I'm just gonna drop the bottom part. So see now I've got that little bit of an edge so that the photo will drop in behind the window, okay? So if I right click again and now I'm gonna use my arrow to drop it in and you can see it's gone in behind the window and you can work out where you want that photo to be. I sort of like it to have a little bit of a gap here. And you can see now I've gone a little bit too far. So I'm just gonna go forward a little bit like that. So now it's gonna slot in nicely um, into the um, frame behind the uh, front there, that front window. So now, if I click and drag my mouse across, this is left click and drag, um, that selects again both shapes and I'm gonna group it. Okay, once I've grouped it now, if I click and rotate, you can see where that slot, if you look here, you've got the window here and then you've got where the photo's gonna drop in, just in there and around there, okay? 
So you've got that little slot where it will slide in and you've got those edges and grooves in there, okay? So that's, that's a basic photo frame. Um, ob obviously, you want to put some more stuff on. So I'm going to show you how to put it in using the work plane. I'm going to turn this, if I was just to grab the text like this and drop it in, okay, it's flat. So what I'd have to do is try and rotate it and it becomes a little bit messy. There's a lot of fiddling around with it and really it's a total waste of your time. So what I do is I use the work plane up here. I click on the work plane, I drag it over and I want to put my text right on the front in the middle of that, um, that photo frame, like so. So at the moment it's looking all a little bit strange, um, but it'll work out. So if you click on the text, and you pop it here, it's putting it on that work plane surface. I like to always change the colour so I can see the text for a start. Um, so clicking on that solid text. Um, then in here, I'm going to put my name. So obviously Richo, like so. Um, another thing you want to make sure with uh, the text, um, you can change the font if you want a different type of font. Um, you can make it beveled or unbeveled, so you can play around with those. Um, make it cute, um, it's really entirely up to you. Anyway, when you've finished that, I'm right clicking to rotate my mouse. Now what you don't wanna do is grab the cone and push it in like that, okay? Because what happens is now it's blocking your photo, okay? So what you wanna do first is line it up so that you can see that, because you want it to embed into the photo frame like that, just a little bit. Then when you've got that, obviously you don't want it poking out too much. So what we do then is we get to that front box there and we're just gonna move it in a little bit. Okay, so that it's nice and neatly, about three mil thickness off the base. Um, and that looks pretty snazzy. Um, it's obviously poking up. Now you might like it like that. Um, me on the other hand, I like to have mine on my photo frame, nice and neat and tidy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it in there. Um, obviously, I do want to, uh, yeah, I, I, do you know what, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I'll probably just make it a little bit fatter, lift it up off the ground, move it over a little bit more like that. And that's, that's pretty much, I'm happy with that. It's not hitting my photo in the middle and it looks pretty good. So once you've done that um, and you've put in your text, um, you can put in all sorts of different types of shapes there. Um, then again, um, what you do is just get the work plane and click back on flat and there you go. There's your nice photo frame. Just remember, again, click and drag, select the two shapes and you want to group it so that it becomes one for printing. Um, last but not least is um, with the photo frame, um, there's no stand on it. Um, at the moment, it's only t uh, 20 uh, mil in width. Um, so it's easy to fall over or push over. So what we do is I, I just use a basic wedge. Um, so I just right click and rotate, chuck the wedge on here like this. Again, just make sure with the wedges, you're not pushing it all the way through and that'll stop the photo again. So just make sure your wedge is a little bit out from the frame. So it's there to be a stand. Um, the best way to do this I find is um, so that you know you've got two wedges nice and even um, I would just go control C control V will paste another wedge and just if you arrow across it literally is going to be exactly the same size and in this at exactly the same position okay as that other one so again right clicking you can see they're exactly in the right spot okay so this is your basic photo frame um, uh, you can, you know, you can do so many, so much more than this um, using different types of uh, different types of shapes from around the home. Over here, you've got popsicles, you've got pencils, you've got, a, you know, pretty much anything you want. You can, you've got all sorts of stuff that, you know, uh, have a look through the Tinkercad. There's connectors, there's different types of characters you can bring in. Um, and personalize the photo frame to what you want. Just remember, it's really important to name your file um, and take screenshots of it to put in your digital portfolio. Preferably a top view, side view, so I can see the stand and a front view of it. Okay, so 
Um, that's pretty much how to make a basic photo frame using the 3D software at Tinkercad. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm Miss Richo and I will see you very soon. Bye.